hate. What? I hate that mug. What? Why? Why do you think? Well, then I guess you shouldn't make bets that you can't win. Okay. I'll bet you that that microwave isn't the most efficient way to boil water for your tea. Okay, well then I bet you're about to lose again. We'll see. But if you lose, I get that mug. All right, but if I win, you have to make me a matching t-shirt. <sighs> Fine. All right, you're on. So the bet is this. Is there a more energy efficient way to boil a mug of cold water than the microwave? Well, and coincidentally, this is also the topic that you wrote in about the most. So, to make it more interesting, we're going to be testing both tea for one yep. and a kettle for guests. Excellent. How much water do you think is in this anyway? Mm. Well, let's just check it out here. About 12 ounces or so. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Two quarts maybe in the kettle? That sounds about right. Okay, we have our trusty microwave. Mm -hmm. What do you bring into the competition? Well, okay, you know how I like my gadgets. Yes. So I brought in this standard electric coil element like you'd find on a stove and this electric kettle. Hello, I'm Mrs. Fox, only electric. Let's get started. <laughs> So, Kate. Stan. Let's discuss the results, shall we? Do we have to? Yeah, I'm afraid so. All right. For the mug, the electric kettle used one third less energy than the microwave. And for the two quarts, the microwave used twice as much energy as the electric kettle. Yeah, even the stove top was better than the microwave. And the electric kettle was faster than everything, too. Yeah, so officially, you win. Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> but why do we even care about this anyway? It's not like changing the way I boil a mug of water is really going to save me much energy or money. Well, that's true. I mean, even if you boil two quarts of water every day for a year, the savings by switching from the microwaves to the electric kettle would probably only be about $9. Okay. But this really isn't about finding the most efficient way to make tea. It's all about looking at all the little things you do every day and finding ways to make them more efficient. Okay, but we didn't try every way that there is to boil water. You know, there could be a more energy efficient way out there. You're just looking to get the mug back, aren't you? Yeah, maybe. Not gonna happen. Anyway, I think we covered most of the common ones right here, but here's an area where you, the viewing audience, can help us out. Yeah, if you know of a way to boil water that we didn't try, let us know. And even better, if you test a way that we didn't, be sure to post your findings on our website at switch.portlandgeneral.com. We'd love to hear about it. Oh, but be safe. Boiling water can be tricky, especially in the microwave. And visit our website to see our other videos, details on the testing that we did, and finally, be sure to let us know what other energy-saving questions you'd like us to answer for next time. Definitely.